What up, YouTube? I am Dom Knight. This is Knight Talks. And we're back with another reaction for you. Before we jump into this, like the video, subscribe to the channel, help me hit my goal, trying to hit 2,000 subs by the spring. Would appreciate it. Let's get into this. We got Kendra back. I just caught my eye to see what's up. Single mom, two, single mom to three kids. Wants a man with no kids that makes between 70 and 100K a year. This should be fun. Let's get into it. Hello? Hey, Kendra. Hey, boo. What's your name? Alexis. Alexis, where you calling us from, baby? Virginia. The A's in the building. How old are you? 26. 26. She's 26? You're so close to the camera. Can you move back a little bit? Okay. What do you do for a living, babe? I'm an entrepreneur. Entrepreneur? What do you What do you do? I sell candles. I do lash baths, and I make wedding oh. dresses. Okay. You have any kids? Yeah. How many kids? Three. Bro. How old are your kids? Um, set one will be seven, five, and two. Oh God. Seven, five, and two. Same man, same dad. Yeah. Have you ever been married? No. Why y'all not together? You had a baby two years ago. Things didn't work out. Like, that simple? Yeah. Mm. Things gonna work yeah. out. Okay, Alexis VA, 26, entrepreneur, three kids. Where's your birthday or zodiac sign? I'm a Leo. Okay. Yeah, Leo. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right, Alexis, what kind of man you looking for, baby? One that has not been to prison, one with a good job. Um, yeah, has values more respectable. Leading, guiding, um, financially stable, definitely. And one to control his dick. <laughs> well, what does, what does control his penis mean? That means not cheap. Okay, I feel like if a man can't control his penis, he can't control his finances. If a man can't control his penis, so what does control like, mean, though, to you? Like, just, like, not wildly, like, just committed. Like fully committed to like those two like, things do not parallel. So here's the deal: the first person I thought of was Diddy, who is a billionaire, because mm -hmm. you made the correlation: control your penis, control your finances. Diddy would dispel that theory because he's a billionaire, but mm -hmm. he obviously, as we have seen him with multiple women, yeah. So his finances are doing well, even though he shares his penis with plenty of women. Hold up, hold on. I, I, I didn't even think I'll pause this quick. This woman. <laughs> We already first things first. Twenty six. Y'all think she looked twenty six? I don't. But whatever, bro. She's saying a man who can't control his thing can't control his finances, bro. How about Nick? like she just said, Diddy? How about Nick Cannon? How about Lil Wayne? We can name. There's tons of guys out here that ain't famous that are doing just fine, who get a lot of tail, okay? Those two things don't correlate. I don't, I don't even know. I don't even know what that means. Typically, a guy who is in control of his finances has more options to be like that. So what she's saying don't even make sense at all. And we'll talk more about her later. Let's continue. Well, yeah, but like, I feel that. I do. Mm, bet you do. So what I'm saying is, I do know what you're saying, though. I think, here's the deal. Life is not one size fit all. And um, there are men who I, I do think are more successful because, like, they are with one woman. They're in a committed relationship. And that has helped them be more focused in their careers. But unfortunately, I do know a lot of rich men who share their penis. So and they still rich, it, okay? It, 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 say what? And they still rich. Yes. Like when and I they're like, still rich. I mean, yeah. it, it can kind of go both ways. Mm -hmm. but, but, but for you, regardless or not, you want a man that knows how to sleep with one woman. Right, yeah. A committed relationship. Is yeah. that what your child's father couldn't commit to? I mean, it wasn't even that. We just grew apart. Like, sometimes we co-parent very well. Okay. We co-parent well, so, okay. yeah. What's some other deal breakers? Um, a smoker, like, you know, a drinker, because I smoke, a drinker, like okay. an alcoholic, like just sloppy drunk, like all of that, like, um, a liar, 
a man that's not stable. A man that's not, not what? Stable. A man that's not stable. Right. Pretty much how you okay. said that. And yeah. No baby mamas. No baby mamas. Yeah. Does he have to look a certain way? I mean, I prefer chocolate, but I mean, love is blind, so. Love is blind? Yeah. Love is blind? It, it don't have a color, a race, none of that. Love is love, so. Okay. Um, does he have to make a certain amount of money? Um, I would say, yeah. How much? Um, maybe like 70K to 100K. 70K to 100K. Now, girl, okay. you know, to ask me to ask you more questions about that. Mm -hmm. Look, okay. Yeah, go for it. So, the, did your child's father make that amount of money? Yep. He That's the first question. did, but it was illegal, so... So you want a man that makes that amount of money in a legal way? Yeah, yeah. So what would you say to that guy that might say, well, you come with three children. This is what men have told me. You come with three children. They have to therefore consider taking care of you and their children, and they're making their money legitimately. You say your child's father did it, but you were honest to say he didn't have it legitimately. So that's yeah. a totally different type of guy, right? And I right. think different type of guy. So this guy that you wanted to do it legitimately is a forward thinking, making sure everything aligns to his plans. So what would you say to that guy that might be a little cautious that you come with three children? I mean, at the end of the day, they my kids. So, I mean, if you're going to love me and be with me, we're going to accept them. But I mean, at the end of the day, I'm not asking you straight off to like come in and play father and all this other stuff. But yeah, they're a part of me. So at the end of the day. Okay. You yeah. said seventy to a hundred k. So mm -hmm. you made. Do you make that amount of money? I can. can. You can, but oh, do you? Can. Can. Yeah. You don't as of yet. As of yeah, but I'm close. So why is that dollar amount so important to you? I mean, I mean, at the end of the day, I have things. I have things, and I would want like my man to have things that he would want to do, like to create for his generation, the legacy, the family, to provide, and all that other stuff. Like, because I'm family oriented, so it's not like. I would want a man that's not connected to his family. Because, I mean, if you're, like, the family leader, like the family spokesman or something like that, you got to be able to provide and take care of what you got plus whatever we have. Hold on. Do you want more kids? Hold no. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. <laughs> this chick is looking for a support system. First things first, she's a walking contradiction. She just said that she wants a family man who's about generational wealth, who is about taking care of the family and being the head of the household and providing. Mind you, she also said she wants a man with no baby mamas. So what does that tell you? That tells you she wants this guy to provide for her pre-made family because the guy she wants can't have any kids, right? No baby mamas means no kids because if you have kids, that means you have a baby's mom unless she's dead. So she doesn't want this guy to have kids. She wants him to make $70,000 to $100,000 a year, something that a small percentage of people in America make. And this guy has to do it legitimately. Okay, you were with someone who sold drugs, all right? So your kids are by a drug dealer. I'm going to assume it's drug dealing. She said illegal. She didn't say exactly what it is. We'll just say illegal activity because I, I can't assume. I don't know it's drug dealing, but that's probably what it is. So illegal activity. So you, you are literally trying to find the polar opposite of the man you decided to procreate with three different times. Hmm, guys, does this seem like a girl that you would want to be with? I don't think so. This girl, wow. She got the nerve. She got some nerve on her. That is funny. So you can't have any kids, but you got to come in and provide for a two, five, and seven-year-old. Them kids is young as hell. Guys, I think, I think, yeah. Honey. Good luck to you. Let's let's see what else is going on. Okay. So you want to take care of you and your three kids and you don't want to have any I mean, more kids? 
we got married, I might consider one. Might consider one. Okay. Okay. But ultimately, you don't want any more kids. That's fair if you don't want any more kids. Right. Right. But, I but, do, yeah. but do you understand the act? You're asking so much. The act. Do you understand what you're asking him to do? Because you're telling him you have to take care of your three children who are not his yep. children. And you really don't want to have any kids. So therefore, he wouldn't have a baby by you. I mean, I could take care of my kids that are my children if you like you choose like it's just it's not unpredictable it's like it's not unreal yes it is because you do have men that are out here they have kids and they're taking care of other people's kids that do not mind but like do you but you want to get married though right yeah so if y'all get married he's taking care yep. of the kids because he will have to contribute to the yep. household that your kids yep. would contribute to the household uh-huh so but you're so you coming with a lot more provider, so you don't want to provide her anymore I I mean, you can provide, but I mean, I feel like sometimes relationship things should be half, like 50-50, like sometimes, to a certain extent. So you want 50-50 or you, or you want a provider? I mean, if 50-50 to a provider. Okay. okay. This okay. woman. Um. All right. Does he have to look a certain way? You ask that. Oh, I'm sorry. Okay, you ask money, you're right. Let's do the Kendra can. Yeah, let's. Oh, oh, she ain't got that booty, no girl. ass. Excuse me. <laughs> okay, we see that booty, girl. <clears throat> What's the age range you would date, Alexis? Um, 33 to 42. Does he have to be in Virginia? No. Does he have to fly you out if he's not? Um, yeah. yeah. Yes. So should he expect to get something? Absolutely. You out? I mean, at the end of the day, it is what it is. It might go down. It, it might. might not. It might, it might not. Okay. But if he, uh, if, if it don't, I do have my own money to get back, so. Okay. 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 Um, you don't have to answer, but I'm going to ask, when's the last time you was intimate with someone? I'm not going to answer okay. that. It was last okay. night. When was your last relationship? Um, my child's father. Okay. Why do you think you're single? I mean, why do I think I'm single? Sometimes I feel like. I can't really say. Maybe I don't put myself out there enough. Say again? Maybe I don't put myself out there enough. No. If dudes oh, you want you, they come for enough. you. That's the reason? Right. Yeah. I mean, oh. with this pandemic, like, a lot of stuff sees, and, like, you know, sometimes I just be, to me, like, yeah, and my kids. Bro, okay. it's two, it's three, three years um, removed. Why would a guy be lucky to be with you? A why? Yes. Because I'm on a pedestal, I'm me, I'm myself, I'm loyal, I'm honest, and I would, like, provide and, like, do the same to you, so. All right, all right, all right, I'm done, I'm done. I can't, I can't, I cannot watch anymore. It ain't that much longer. If y'all want to finish it, I will link her video down below, but I cannot watch anymore. Woo! This one was one of the more entertaining ones I've done in a while because my God, red flag central. This woman's basically like the Chinese flag. She's just a giant red flag, my Lord. I don't even know where to start. I don't even know where to start. All right, we'll start with the, we'll start with the physical. Okay, first things first. I will say this, her face in this short cam, She's a lot smaller than I thought she was about to be. I ain't gonna lie, when she Kendra cammed up, I was expecting a bigger person. But bro, her, I ain't even, listen, I'm not trying to make fun of nobody, how they look. I'm just gonna say this. She's not attractive to me. She could be your flavor or somebody else's flavor. This woman is not good looking to me. That's just me. So in my own personal opinion, that, no, that's already a no. So you got three kids. Okay, same baby daddy, that's cool. But you got three kids with a criminal, okay? Awesome. So now we gotta deal with your criminal baby dad. Cool. Then you say he needs to make $70,000 to $100,000 a year. Why would someone need to make that much money to date you? Because you are looking for somebody to provide for you. This woman went back and forth this whole time. Oh, hold on, hold on. Let's not forget that you also can't have any kids. So, like I said earlier, this woman wants 
you to be a placement in her family to do the things that she wants. She she said, I may give you one kid. So you expect, okay, let's let's see, let's let's talk about what she's asking for. She expects a young, completely single guy, okay, who is in the top percent of earners to have no children, okay, and she's not gonna give him any. And she wants this guy to marry her. Where does this make sense at? I don't know what planet, what, where this makes sense at. So you're not even willing to give this man, you're willing to maybe give him one kid. So you gave a criminal three, but the good guy's coming and may not even get any. Honey, any guy making that kind of money who's single, has no kids, and is looking to marry someone is likely looking to have a family. He's probably going to want more than one kid. He'll probably want two or three at least. So... You're talking about a young guy. You want this man. And then you said the age range was between 33 and 42. How many 33 to 42 year olds, you know, making that kind of money don't have at least one child? Most of them probably gonna have at least one. Not all of them, but any of them that don't ain't going to be looking her way. It's, I just I just couldn't believe all this stuff I was hearing. And then she telling me she's 26 years old. I'm sorry, this woman look at least 35, 6 to me. It ain't nothing wrong with that. I'm just like, damn, 26. <laughs> Whatever. Guys, listen. I don't even think I need to tell you. Avoid these types of women at all costs. Guys, I am Dom Knight. This is Night Talks. This was fun, but man, this one, she made me, she gave me a headache. Guys, make sure you like this video, subscribe to the channel for more content, hit the bell so you do not miss a thing. I'll toss my social medias right here. Follow me on TikTok only if you want to, and I will be back soon. That's nice, so. <laughs> rack it up, rack it up, I got a bit of the bank to make me a safe house. Shake it up, shake it up, she got her hands on her knees and she bringing the cake out. Smoke it up, smoke it up, I got some gas, some packs, I'm up in the